do appreciate it every time you come and have a look at a video. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, the channel's really starting to take off now and I am really appreciative of the fact that all of you are becoming involved and letting me know what your thoughts are. And on that, I want to thank everybody who's been sending me emails of encouragement of late. Um, beautiful emails from beautiful people out there and I, I want to thank you for uh, letting me know how you're feeling about the channel and how facial exercises are affecting you. So thank you so much for motivating me to do more. So thanks so much for that. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Meditation for Women Who Do Too Much by Anne Wilson Shape. And this reading today is about becoming or getting older. Now I thought this was really appropriate for this channel because you know we're all about not wanting to get older, we're all about not wanting to have wrinkles or grey hair or anything like that. But this reading is not actually about that. This reading is about, actually the title's a bit um, uh, deceptive, but it's really about becoming mature. So let me read this to you and then let's have a discussion afterwards. Okay, so we grow neither better nor worse as we get old but we become more like ourselves. Mary Lamberton Baker. I once met a woman in her 60s who shared what a marvelous revelation it was for her to become completely gray. I can just put all my ideas out the way I want to, she said, and I don't have to get all that strange sexual energy from men coming at me like I did when I was younger. Another woman in her 50s confided that one of the best kept secrets in this culture was the postmenopausal zest. I thought I was a whiz before menopause, she whispered, conspiratorially. And you should see me now. These were obviously women who had chosen to let the process of aging facilitate their becoming more themselves fully. And the thought for the day, as the demand to falsify ourselves lessen, we can more easily concentrate on being the person we have always been. Now that is really good, I think. I think that's a really good uh, thought because let's read it again. As the demands to falsify ourselves lessen, we can more easily concentrate on being the person we have always been. Now how true that is. Do you know, as I've aged, um, I have found that um, the process of aging in my mind has been so much better. And although your body starts to do things that you don't want it to do, your mind just gets stronger and stronger. And that's one thing I really love about aging. Do you know when I was 30 and 40, in those um, ages, I really thought that I was mature. And I thought that I had it, all the answers and I thought I knew exactly what was going on. But really, you know, I found that um, as I've hit into my 50s, into my mid-50s now, coming into my mid-50s, I have really started to see how much I didn't know. And really, I feel a little bit embarrassed because when I was 40, I was very arrogant and I thought I knew it all at the age of 40. And I, I look back now and laugh at myself. And um, I'll probably do this now at the age of 63, 64, um, when I'm that, that age, that I'll probably look back and laugh at myself when I was in my 50s. Um, but certainly, um, I did think I had it all together. I thought that I knew all the answers to life. And uh, I acted as if I did as well. Um, really, back then, I wasn't, you know, looking back, I, I'm not comfortable with the way I was as a person and who I was as a person because I thought I really had my act together. But reality is that I didn't. And a lot of things changed that for me. Um, when my mother died, that was a very horrible time for me. And my dog was poisoned, um, I think it was five weeks before mum died. Um, somebody had come to our property and poisoned our dog. And it was horrendous. And then my dear old mum passed away, you know, five week, weeks later. So it took me a long time to get over that grief. And when that happened to me, my whole fabric uh, of life and my whole foundation was rocked. And I had to reassess again who I was and what I was here for and what life was about. And um, it really taught me that 
um, I really didn't have my life together, that um, it taught me that people are more precious than what I believed them to be because I was very arrogant. And I'm okay saying that because I, looking back now, seeing that, and sometimes I look at people who I know now who are in their 40s or just turning 40, and they think it's the end of the world, and they think they have so got their act together. And, and I laugh, really, because um, those people that I know, um, you know, really, they don't have their act together. <laughs> and, um, and I understand that. I understand that now. If, if it was me back then, you know, I, I would have just, you know, said, well, get yourself together and get on with life, but, uh, and not having any feeling towards it or anything like that. But now I'm a little bit more um, flexible with life. The other thing I've learned is um, about people as I've got older, and I've learned not to worry about what they think. And even up until this year, I've even had uh, situations where I've had to stand up for myself, I've had to speak my truth, and I've had to stand in my integrity. And um, I've had to do those things because I have been standing up for myself saying, what I, I think you're doing is wrong, I don't agree with what you're doing, and I've had to stand my ground regardless of the fallout of the people around me and how they've reacted and their, um, you know, their victim reaction uh, to the situation because I've spoken my truth. And I've really, really had to stand firm. And I think if I was, uh, if I was younger, if, if this was when I was 40 or you know, early 40s, I never would have done what I did and said what I said because I never really um, wanted to stand up for myself and upset people, really. I thought I did. I thought I did stand up for myself, but really I didn't. I didn't stand up and say, no, that's wrong, and stand my ground. I was always rock if somebody uh, confronted me or somebody um, challenged me on my beliefs. But that's the main thing I've learned as I've got older, is to stand my ground, to uh, stand up for what I believe in, and to stand in my integrity, and to stand rock solid. And that's what I really love about ageing. I, I don't love the other parts where your hair turns grey or you know your teeth start falling out. And Not that my teeth have fallen out, but that's the sort of stuff that starts happening. Um, or putting on the weight and all those other things that start happening as we age. Um, I don't like that part, but I certainly like the part where I get to stand up for myself and I get to believe in myself. And that's what happens as you get older. And my mum never told me about that. My mum never told me that that's actually what happens. That you actually become stronger. And the more you start delving into your inner self and the more you start looking at yourself and who you are and what you stand for in the world, the more respect and self-respect you get for yourself. And that's why I've taken this path because it has really done me good. And that's why I'm talking to you out there because if you're feeling like you can't stand solid, if you're feeling like you're a victim and you're reacting to people and what they're saying to you and you, you're upset about what they're saying. Learn to look within yourself, look at your own beauty, look at your own integrity and stand solid within yourself. Because that is really what life is about, is finding your solid ground and standing firm for who you are. Now this is what I believe this, what this reading is about today. As the demands to falsify ourselves lessen, we can more easily concentrate on being the person we have always been. So to me what that means is that up until uh, the time that there's sort of like an age between, I don't know, 40 and 50, that something starts happening. And up until that time, you're running around, you're, you know, you're trying to find, you know, well I don't know about you, but that's what it was like for me. And I don't have to navigate my way between um, people who aren't authentic anymore. I don't have to um, accept them. I just have to be authentic and be who I am. I don't have to falsify myself anymore because that's not who I am. So these are the good things about aging. And I hope, I really hope that you get that reading today. And I hope that you start looking at yourself, looking at yourself inward, your inward self. And go within and see if you can find that beautiful person, that beautiful woman in you that is standing solid and standing firm and has strength. See if you can pull in and reach her out. Because once you do that, then you'll be able to stand in your integrity. 
Okay, guys, thanks so much. I really appreciate you listening today. I hope that's made sense, and um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day wherever you are. Okay, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you next time.